Hey, um, I guess it was about eight years ago this month. We all thought you were coming here. Um, we were pretty sure about it. What do you remember about that that time before the draft? Um, did you think Chip was going to make that trade and, and and get you? Did you think it was realistic? What were your thoughts? What do you remember about that? Well, there was a lot of different scenarios, and it was such an interesting time for me because as the process goes, your agent will sit down with you usually the night before the draft and be like, hey, this is where I think you'll end up. Um, my agent at the time was like, I have no idea. So <laughs> just be prepared for everything. Um, we really didn't have any idea where I would, I would go, um, but I'm, I'm grateful for my opportunity that I had in Tennessee and um, just appreciate the support um, from all the teams during that time. Go ahead, Chris, and then John McMullen. Hey, Marcus, welcome to Philly, man. Um, just wanted to know, what lessons do you think you've learned last year when you were with the Falcons, and how can you carry that over to what you learned into the quarterback room here at the Eagles? Well, yeah, I think first and foremost, um, just being around a, a group of a young guys that were still just trying to learn. Um, and I think being around AJ, being around uh, Devontae and those guys, like they're just so eager to learn. Um, so, you know, my role is just to provide information and, and just share experiences. I think as a guy that's played in the league now for eight years, um, you know, I've been cut. I've been a starter. You know, we've won playoff games. I've been benched. So I just really believe that I can relate with a lot of guys. Um, and to be able to just to continue to, to build that chemistry in the locker room and um, just be a voice and, and make an impact any way that I can. Um, but I think specifically for the quarterback position, at, you know, at ups and downs, you know, you're going you're gonna to face those throughout your career. And um, just being a guy for, for Jalen and um, just being a resource any way that I can to hopefully make him better and, and make the team better. Go ahead, John, and then Jeff McLean. Hey, Marcus, welcome. Um, Thank you. Uh, was wondering when you made your decision to come to Philadelphia, uh, you, you had some history with Jason Michael and Alex Panny, I think Kevin Petullo as well. How much did that weigh into your decision? And and also Nick had mentioned he, he always wanted to coach you. And, and back to your pro day, I think, in, in 2015. Do you remember Nick at all from that process? I do. I do. We, we had uh, dinner at a small restaurant in Eugene. Um, it was a part of the, the whole draft process and the combine. And um, I did a workout for them as well. And um, but yes, to your question, uh, relationships that I've had, um, those are very important. Um, but I did tell Tiny, he's like, I don't know if I can call you coach yet. We're <laughs> we're, we're uh, we got to figure that one out. But, um, you know, even Michael Clay, I played with Michael Clay at Oregon. Um, TJ Paganetti was there with me in, in Oregon as well. And um, at the end of the day, I was really looking for an opportunity to be a part of a team that would just enjoy playing the game that I love. And um, the relationships that I have here uh, was, was very important to me. We'll go to Jeff and then Bo Wolf. Uh, Marcus, how do you think your career might have been different had uh, Chip drafted you and you got to play in an offense that you knew very well and a coach you knew very well? And I guess uh, also, how do you think Chip's career might have been different had, you, had he had a chance to coach you? <laughs> I think it's easy eight year, nine years later to play the what if game. Um, but I'm, I'm forever grateful for the Titans to give me an opportunity. Um, I'm grateful for my time that I had with the Raiders and um, the time that I spent with the Falcons. I wouldn't trade that for anything. I think ultimately it's not only made me a better football player, but it's made me a better man. And, you know, we can always play the what if game, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm excited to be here now, and I look forward to doing what I can for this team. Go ahead, Bo, and then Martin Frank. Hey, Marcus. Um, there's you know, some uncertainty about the way things ended in um, Atlanta from, from the outside, and I don't think you've had a chance to tell your side of the story there. So, so how, how did that all uh, end up at the end of the season? Well, I think from the standpoint of me, I, I appreciate the opportunity that I had there. Um, to be able to be a starter again um, after sitting for a couple seasons, um, I just had a lot of fun. And at, at the end of the day, it didn't work out the way that anybody wanted to. Um, and I really just try to focus on being the best version of myself for that team day in and day out. And it's no different here. Um, so at the end of the day, things didn't work out, um, but I'm excited to be here and uh, I can't wait to get things started. And the injury, you're all, you're all good to go? Yeah, knee feels great. Um, you know, I had to go in and get it cleaned up, um, you know, spent a couple months just rehabbing and last month or so I've been able to get back to training and body feels good. Go ahead, 
Ben Martin and then Ed Kratz. Hi, Marcus. Um, obviously, coming here, Jalen Hurts is entrenched as, you know, the starter and everything. And I was wondering, like, you know, how that, um, you know, how that played into your decision to come here and your thoughts on Jalen. And also, you guys kind of play a similar type of style. How much do you think that helps you and him at the same time? Thanks. Yeah. Um, thank you for your question. Uh, I, I really, it played a, a part in my decision, absolutely. Um, with that being said, I think it's a great opportunity for me to hopefully help a younger guy out. Um, I, I'm at a point in my career, like I was explaining earlier, where I've experienced everything. Um, you know, I've been the guy, I've been scout team guy, I've been released. So um, through all those different situations and scenarios, um, I just gathered a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge. And um, I'm at a point in my career where I just want to enjoy the game. I want to have fun doing it. Um, the scheme is very exciting for me. And, um, you know, the fact of the matter is I feel like I can, I can help Jalen. And if we can make Jalen a better player, um, you know, this team's going to be better. And to be a part of a team that was a play, for, a play away from winning the Super Bowl um, was an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. And uh, I'm very excited to be in this quarterback room. I think it's important that you have a strong quarterback room. And um, like I said, I'm going to do whatever I can to help him out. Go ahead, Ed, and then Al Thompson. Yeah, hi, Marcus. Um, you know, on a kind of a personal level, you mentioned the ups and downs of your career. What what have you learned about yourself? I, I guess you're 30 now, uh, around there, 29. I mean, what, what have you learned about yourself uh, going through, you know, what you have gone through? Yeah, abs absolutely. Adversity is going to be a, a great character revealer. Um, you know, and I, and I think now, especially with my little girl, um, it's very important for me to be able to represent and be a role model for her. Um, I want to make sure that she understands that um, with everything that's out there, that you got to be able to define who you are from yourself. And that's through hard work, that's through dedication, that's through um, putting forth kind of everybody else around you. Um, I was just raised that way. And um, to be able to represent that to my little girl is most important. Um, and that's why for me, like, I'll just continue to, to play this game as long as I can and um, help where I can. and just to try to make an impact on teams and, and hopefully uh, win a championship. We'll go to Al and then Josh Tolentino. Hey, Marcus. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks. Welcome to Philadelphia. Thank and uh, uh, the Eagles have, as you know, probably know that they have a decorated offensive line. What do you know about these guys individually? Jason Kelsey, Lane Johnson, Jordan Mailata, Landon Dickerson. What do you know about these guys? Uh, first and foremost, they're, they're led up front with a future Hall of Famer. And um, I've been around a couple of good centers in my – Jason, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, whether it's, it's Lane or Jason, but, you know, I think it always starts up front with the center. Um, and just from a guy from afar that's, you know, watched a lot of, a lot of crossover games and his, his natural ability and the way he communicates and gets everybody going on the same page, um, I think is like no one else in the league. Um, and then when you have Lane that's anchoring as well as Jordan, um, you know, it, it's really cool to be a part of and, um, just the physical uh, abilities of those guys up front is what's always captivated me. Um, you know, I, I don't know Lane much, but the fact of the matter is, he had, you know, he started out as a quarterback and now he's playing tackle. And just physically how he's able to dominate that position, I think, is very, very impressive. Um, so I'm excited to be able to work with these guys. Um, I'm excited to, again, make an impact where I can, um, but just to continue to, continue to build relationships. Okay, we'll take these last three here. Go ahead, Josh, Bo, and Rube. Hey, Marcus, welcome to Philly. Um, uh, Two-part question for you. Um, you share uh, some of what roots with uh, Jordan Mailata. Have you had a chance to uh, bond with him or interact with him yet? And I guess the, the second part of my question, a, a bit more broader, but how do you think your upbringing in the uh, islands has uh, maybe helped impact or how you've handled things throughout your career, both with uh, success and also adversity? Well, the, the first person I met when I walked into the building was Jordan. Um, and he, I mean, he's impressive right when, right off the bat. So um, it was cool to be able to, to meet him, to talk with him. Um, he, he had talked to me about, he had stopped in Hawaii and was there for the PA event. And we just shared stories about, um, you know, the islands. And um, I think it's pretty cool to be a part of a Polynesian community that's so tight knit. Um, 
as you look across the league now, you'll see Polynesian players of, you know, different statures at different positions. And um, to be a part of that is, is really cool for me and something that I've always held in high regard. Um, so no matter what, um, you know, I try to represent where I come from, who I am, our Polynesian community to the best of my abilities. And I think it's really cool to see guys like Tua, guys like Jordan, um, you know, that are just kind of uplifting that even, even further. And um, if we can continue just to show people um, how proud we are of our, our heritage and where we come from, um, you know, we'll continue just to shine a light on how special our, our Polynesian community is. Go ahead, Bo. Hey, Marcus, I just wanted to follow up on uh, Alex Tanny. Um, was there anything when you guys were teammates that struck you that this guy could be a, a future quarterbacks coach? Yes, easy. Um, you know, I was a young guy when we were working together, and he was very influential on how I was reading certain route combinations, different patterns. Um, you know, hey, this is how I see it. And I, from early on, I could tell that there was coaching in his future. Um, and I, I really think that he helped me kind of jumpstart my career pretty fast uh, early on. Um, you know, fortunate for me, my first couple of years are probably my best years. And, you know, he was a part of that. So um, to be reunited with him again uh, is something that I'm really looking forward to. And I think he's just got a natural touch of um, a guy that can just understand the game and be able to explain it very easily. Thank you. Last one here with Rube. Yeah, I just wanted to follow up on, it um, sounds like you've really embraced your role here and, and supporting Jalen every way possible. Um, you're still a young guy. I'm not going to give you 30. You're still 29 till till the fall. Um, I mean, how how much does the, the fire still burn to be a starter? And, uh, you know, and, and how do you balance, you know, it's a tricky balance, I guess, wanting to do everything you can as the backup for Jalen, but still, you know, at some point in your career wanting to be a starter again. Yeah, I, I think it comes down to the mentality. Um, when you go out there and you compete against yourself every single day and you try to make yourself better, um, I think that makes the room better. And that's always been my focus. Um, you know, I try to just be the best version of myself day in and day out. Uh, best teammate, um, best quarterback, best father, best husband. Um, and when it comes down to that, you know, I can just take those little days, you know, one at a time. Um, you know, hopefully I'll get another opportunity. But for now, I'm excited just to be a great teammate. And, um, you know, I, and I'm, I'm excited to learn from Jalen. I'm excited to learn from this staff. And I think together, you know, we can go out and accomplish great things. And that's what my main focus is.